The car she was in was a model named in a worldwide recall two years before her accident. Yeah, that's correct. Did she ever receive a recall notice from the manufacturer? Three recall notices that had been returned to sender. Three notices were sent from yeah. Toyota? Yes. She received none of those three letters? No, they were returned to sender. They went back to Toyota? Yes. So Toyota know that that letter hasn't got through to her? Yeah. And what do they do? Nothing. And then she's maimed for life. I, I'm not aware of any other attempts they made to contact the family. Toyota send three letters. Mm -hmm. They all go return to sender, back to Toyota. Mm -hmm. So they know they haven't been opened and they can't even manage a phone call. Mm. They can't organise a phone call to look after the health of their customer. It's a clear and present danger, you know, and, and is absolutely exemplified by what happened with her. Some of the manufacturers use very vague language well, in those recall notices. We use weasel words in those, uh, those recall notices. And, and it's written in uh, Comic Sans font to make it uh, seem like a uh, children's party invitation. I don't know why they chose to do it in that friendly manner. Well, why are they so soft? because they don't want to alarm the customers, I presume, into uh, thinking that they've bought a product that's unsafe. And if you look at the recall, the voluntary recall notices, some of those recall notices, you would need to hire someone like me to try and interpret what was, what was being said. And I may be able to pick up that perhaps there's a problem here, as opposed to this is a clear and present danger of killing you and or your family. You know, the, the, they were very lame, the, uh, the original uh, voluntary recalls. And, and to this day, when you have a replacement airbag put in, you will not be told what it's being replaced with. And for the most part, it's another Takata airbag. If you want to check if your car is affected by the Takata airbag recall, go to ismyairbagsafe.com.au and enter your number plate and state or territory. Or you can go to the productsafety.gov.au site and click on the Takata Airbag Recall link for a full list of affected cars. Hello, I'm Liam Bartlett. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.